Hey guys, it's Francisco. Welcome to Computer Literacy 101. This course is brought to you by VelaIT.net. And let's get started with this course. We're going to talk about printers today. So a lot of the things that people are asking are how many, like what kind of printers are there? Are there different types of printers? What printer is better for work? What printer is better for home? What printers are better for pictures? And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to go over three kinds of printers, and they're probably the most common printers that you will see on the WordPress environment nowadays. There's some printers that I will talk about that are legacy, but for now, let's focus on inkjet printers, and let's not focus on my dog, though. Laser printers and thermal printers. Okay, inkjet printers. So the thing about inkjet printers is that they spray ink. That's why they're called inkjet. Um, they're cheaper, definitely a lot cheaper than laser printers, but the problem is, is that the ink tends to go by so fast because they're spraying with little nozzles on the paper. So the thing about inkjet printers that you want to make sure is to avoid smearing it once you get a fresh print or actually even touching it because it's actually sprayed on. So it doesn't really adhere to the paper as, uh, as, as, a uh, much as the laser printer. One thing about inkjet printers is that they are able to provide a better color because it's ink that's sprayed on. Um, I don't know the, like I, I wouldn't tell you the, the exact thing that happens and why it looks better. There are some laser printers that do look pretty good, but inkjets are preferred for photo, like for photo use. Uh, it's not just any inkjet, you have to get specialized inkjet printers like the Canon ones that are for photographers but if you're interested in that that's a different course we're just going on the broad overview of the printers for everyday business use laser printers laser printers are a little bit more complex so it's a little bit more complicated process and I've was able to find this picture that was granted by an unknown author <laughs> so they have a little laser di diode, that's why it's called laser printer, and it kind of marks where you're gonna, where it's gonna magnetically attach um, ink. So you have little powdered ink, and it has a roller that attaches that powdered ink over to the paper, and it just kind of like heats it up, and it and it just presses on the paper. If you want more precise information, I definitely recommend you look it up. I'm just going to give you the overview just enough so you can know what the printer is doing in the background and have the necessary information so for whenever you have to troubleshoot something, you know what you're looking at. Uh, laser printers are more expensive, but the ink tends to last longer because it's just it's using what it needs. It doesn't use more than it uh, what it requires to put on the paper. So it's very precise, laser precise, no pun intended. And last on this list is the thermal printer. And this is one of my favorites because this is the one that I deal with on the daily basis at work because I work in a commercial environment and this is the workhorse for commercial environments. So it uses a thermal process to transfer black to a label. So usually most of these are let me just draw it so I could simplify. So they have this little roll of, uh, it's a little ink roll, and it's actually like a little tape, and it just it just rolls over here and it transfers. So like, uh, I'm doing a really horrible job, but, and let's say this is a paper right here, all right? So this press is on and it heats up only where it needs to attach like the letters or whatever information it does or labels or bar barcodes. So that's how it does. It's a thermal transfer and it just uses what it needs. So it's not really effective, but it's in theory, it's not as effective as it could be because you're actually pulling the whole label back. Um, you actually have to watch one. I would definitely recommend go to YouTube and look how a zebra printer works. Um, so it's monochrome. It's only black and white um, for the most part. There may be exceptions, but not to my knowledge, we don't really do that because it's not cost effective. Um, not very high resolution, so you don't use these to print pictures. You could print a picture, but it won't be high quality because it's only going to be black and white, and these things don't have a very high resolution. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say about these. They're, and they're super easy to troubleshoot, so definitely awesome to deal with if it's not like a complicated Canon printer. 
All right, let's keep it short and sweet. Let's talk about what we covered today. We talked about inkjet printers and how cheap they are because they have these little costly uh, ink jets and they spray on the paper and that's what they do. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with inkjet printers like actually have like a little bank of ink that just shoots down and you can customize it so you don't have to buy cartridges all the time but it's not recommended because you avoid your warranty and that's a whole different story for another day uh laser printers so laser printers they have a magnetic roller that has a little laser that precisely charges charges electrons so the ink well the powder the ink powder attaches to the paper complicated process but uh Go on YouTube and look how a laser printer works if you want the details. Um, but this should get you by, at least for for a CompTIA A plus test and just knowing what you know general uh, subjects. So thermal printers, thermal printers are my favorite. Remember that's that's gonna be in a test somewhere. <laughs> just kidding. So thermal printers are only black and white, and they have this little black tape that attaches with uh, heat so once you heat it up it attaches that ink to the paper and this is usually done for label printers um, so label printers are more than likely going to be thermal printers so I hope you got your information for your test or just because you're curious about printers and that is all for today thank you so much for staying with us for these few minutes that managed to become a video if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. Uh, my Twitter handle tag is fmtech underscore, or you can look us up on Twitter as well, Vela IT. And guess what? We have an Instagram. Did I draw a really cool Instagram thing? Yeah, we're actually uh, doing pretty well on Instagram. So if you'd like to follow us, feel free to follow us on Instagram. It's Vela IT as well. And that's horrible. But thank you so much, you guys. Also visit velit.net, even though it's under construction. Hopefully by the time you see this, it will actually be a full-blown site that has all the courses and neat functions that I wanted to add to let you guys test and test your skills so know if you're prepared to take a test. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one.